truck trailer, like the color it matches with it. Nice fish, you know, Mike. These reed beds there. Yeah, man. He slammed it. They get big and fat. I don't think this is a place for a little bass to dwell for very long. Another, another thick-bodied fish. Look at that. Oh, Toad. Oh, we'll take him. We'll take him. We're out here fishing uh, Lake Winnebagashish in, uh, in uh, Minnesota. Uh, came into Grand Rapids and fish, sampling all the varieties of fishing available out here. And uh, but boy, we come back to. Uh, kind of fishing that you really enjoy doing and that's bass fishing and this bass fishing is relatively uh, uh, limited in terms of uh, amount of activity oh. on this lake. John uh, you were using that jungle jig on that? Yep. Okay. The jungle jig. okay. All right. Very good. We'll let him go. All right. Thanks. All right. There he goes. There he goes. We got him. Oh yeah! Oh, man. nice yeah. fish, you Mike. Know, you know, John, I, I I really like this uh, this combination to put on here. We've got, uh, you know, with that that jungle jig and these these craw trailers, they've been uh, they've been producing. Look at how you know the thick fish. These are these are reed fish. They they occupy a niche on these uh, these northern Minnesota lakes, uh, multi-predator lakes, and uh, they find this area, they dominate it, and they get big and fat. I don't think this is a place for a little bass to dwell for very long. Now John, when you're fishing this, these heavy reeds, how do you size them up and uh, what's your approach to them? Well, we try it around the edge first. I always like to hit the perimeter. But then uh, we only had one on the edge on the back side there, so now we're moving into the thicker parts. Um, more cover, more ambush. Seems like uh, it's thicker, it's deeper in here. You want depth. We had uh, like two feet on the back side and four or five feet out here, so um, we're circling back to the deep stuff now. <laughs> hey, John, not what we're after, but this is... This is, uh, this is a pretty impressive catch regardless. I think I can hand, him, hand over hand him, but take a look at this. Ho oh. ho! <laughs> look at the size of this rock bass. But reading that water is uh, critical. Reading the reeds is critical. Yeah, there's a grain to it right here. You can see out here the grain definitely goes this way. Uh -huh. So I don't want to cast against the grain or 90 degrees. You're going to get hung up. Uh -huh. You want to flip with the grain right like that, and then you can bring it back. If I were to go out here, I'd have a hard time bringing it back in. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Bringing a fish back in too, much less the lure. Now, are you looking for pockets in, uh, or you, you try going or for the thickest clumps? Uh, what's your strategy? A little bit of both, yep. And I think you hit it right on the head, either pockets, Mike, or, or to the edge of the clump. It's uh, Northland Jungle Jigs, uh, which is ideal. The head shape uh, goes through these, these reeds very effectively. Uh, I th figure you can't go wrong with a, uh, a green pumpkin skirt uh, with the bluegill presence. But I, I matched this up uh, this time with an Uncle Josh meat frog trailer. like the color it matches with it, but this is very supple. And with that, uh, with that uh, bait holder that they've got on there, it's able to keep that, uh, uh, that pork in a little better position. And, it, uh, and it, it's a very compact presentation. It's, it's ideal for moving through these reeds. And we saw big bass uh, engulf these today. And also some monster rock bass. And this is toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. It doesn't last very long. Uh, a combination of jungle jig. And we're using various types of uh, uh, crawfish trailers. We've been using that uh, the Slurpee's uh, uh, craw trailer. And we've also been using the... Uncle Josh meat frog and uh, meat craw. Look at that. Good fish. Andy. All right. Whew. 
Good fish there, all right. This is characteristic of the kind of bass that you you pull out of these uh, these reed I beds there. Yeah, the man, he slammed right. it. All right. Oh, he is trapped up against the reed. We might have a. Take him. Nice. <laughs> Way to go. Never get enough of them. Alright. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, look at this. Yeah, it looked like he took a took a little pounding in there. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. A little beating. Alright, good fish though. That's nice. uh in fishing the you know we were fishing in the thick reeds. We got found some deeper reeds. Beautiful air. They kind of augured uh, the good bite with these bass, didn't they? They did. Crawfish eating bass. <laughs> All right, good. Frog trailer. Like the color it matches with it. Nice fish, you Mike. These reed beds there. Yeah, man. He slammed it. Big and fat. I don't think this is a place for a little bass to dwell for very long. 